Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. Today I'm going to be talking about oxygen sensors and their purpose in the exhaust system. Now if you haven't already watched my video on uh, exhaust basics and catalytic converters, that may be a good place to start uh, before watching this. I'll include some links in the description. So an oxygen sensor is used uh, in order to create a closed loop operation for the air fuel ratio. Now what I mean by a closed uh, loop operation is that you check to make sure that you're using uh, the right air fuel ratio. So your ECU is going to take information from multiple sources, examples being the throttle position sensor, uh, MAF sensor, MAP sensor, air intake temperature sensors. By the way, if you are curious, I have videos on all of these, except for the air temp, uh, sensor that's just the thermometer, that you can check out. I'll also have links in the, in the description. Um, so basically the ECU is going to read that information and it's going to come up with the proper air fuel ratio to use. Something around 14.7, that's the ideal uh, number. So it's going to send that uh, air fuel ratio to the engine um, and then your exhaust is going to go out and it's going to pass. Uh, so here's your basic setup and your exhaust comes out and the first thing, one of the first things the exhaust is going to come into contact with is going to be this first oxygen sensor. And so what that oxygen sensor is going to do is see if there's any oxygen left uh, in the exhaust. And if there is, it's going to tell the ECU that, hey, you've got oxygen in the exhaust. Um, you need to inject more fuel, or hey, there's no oxygen in the exhaust, you need to inject less fuel. So that's the closed loop operation. So, as I was saying here, you're going to have one before a catalytic converter, and uh, one also you could have after a catalytic converter. I'll explain that in a moment. But basically what you've got is this O2 sensor that's right here. Uh, it's, got, it's going to read the oxygen on the outside of the exhaust, so just the atmospheric oxygen, and the oxygen on the inside of the exhaust. So what happens is, as the exhaust passes uh, through the sensor and the oxygen is read by it, it creates a voltage spike um, if there's a difference in the amount of oxygen on the outside than there is on the inside. So the ECU interprets this voltage difference as a rich, lean uh, air-fuel mixture. So for example, if there's not any oxygen in here and there's plenty of oxygen outside, there's going to be a larger voltage spike um, and the ECU will read this as rich. So if it's rich, you'll have a higher voltage. If it's lean, if there's basically the same amount of oxygen on both sides, then it's going to have a lower voltage. So what the ECU does with that, if it says, oh, okay, I've got a high voltage, well, then it injects less fuel because it knows you're running rich. Oh, you've got a lower voltage being read? Well, you're not injecting enough fuel, so it'll inject more fuel. Um, the other thing here, if you haven't watched my video on catalytic converters, um, this is what this would make sense, a little more sense, but you're going to have an oxygen sensor after the catalytic converter to measure the efficiency of the catalytic converter. So this should read a lower voltage than the first one because your catalytic converter is going to be taking uh, your nitrogen oxides and breaking apart those oxygen so you'll have oxygen coming out. Um, of, the, of this exhaust. So that, that is possible uh, and you, you will have additional oxygen and so that's what this will read. And it wants it to be a low voltage, a lower voltage than, than the first one. Um, so that's the basics of an O2 sensor. Uh, it is a common thing that it'll set off a, a check engine light when these things fail. Um, and a lot of people say, well it's fine. And yeah, it is, you can run without it, but it is good uh, to have that closed loop check so that your uh, engine knows the exact air fuel ratio to use. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.